What's up, gang? Big thanks to Salmon for sending me their 2023 shoe lineup to do a little run through in this video right now. Here we go. At the top of the lineup, these are 180 bucks. These are called the Salming Recoil Ultra. These guys have a lot of cushioning. I actually have a pair of these that I'm going to test out on court. They look to me like kind of a uh, advanced version of the old Cobras, if you remember those. Salming hasn't had those in a lineup for, for a while, so I'm looking forward to trying these out. I have a lot of people asking me what happened to the Cobras, and so this is the shoe. It's not exactly a replacement, but I think that this could be an interesting alternative for all you Salming Cobra lovers out there. And they have it not only in a regular version, but in a mid-top version for those that need ankle support I got a buddy who ordered a pair of these from Europe because he's been desperately looking for this kind of shoe from Salming. He told me he loves it, and now these are have arrived in the US, so you can get them here. I will be doing a full review later, so subscribe if you want to learn more about those. Next, we got the Salming Eagle 2. Cool. These come in two different colors. These are men's versions, and the Eagle 2 has had a completely redesigned upper part of the shoe the sole is i believe the same as before i've seen these on the feet of my local squash professionals and they look really nice actually rich has got this one i think it looks very clean very nice they also have a women's version which is this white whoa uh white color scheme for the women's Salming Eagle 2. Next we have the Salming Viper SL. This is not new this year, but they've come out with some new color schemes. These are the two men's color schemes. You've got an all white version with some light blue-ish stripes and an orange and black version that looks pretty sweet. And there's also a women's version that looks a lot like this, but has more of sort of an orangey pink type stripe to it. And one more to throw in the mix, the Salming Rebel. I've done a separate review of these. These are actually not made for squash specifically. They're made for paddle or paddle as we call it here in Philly. And so check out that video if you want to learn more about these paddle specific shoes. All right, that's it for now. Just a quick overview. I'll be back with more Salming shoe info. If you want to get those, make sure you subscribe. Thanks. Bye.